this is Laura from Viral Growth Media. And today I wanna to talk about something very important that a lot of new or small businesses don't really pay a lot of attention to. Lead nurturing. If you're not really well versed in the marketing side of your business or you're just striking out on your own, there's a tendency to see the leads you get as a black and white yes or no situation. They're either going to buy from you or they're not. And if that's your approach to leads, you actually end up losing a lot of sales in the long run. So what do you do if the prospect says no, but you think they're actually the perfect fit for your product or service, or you feel like they might not just be there yet? The answer is lead nurturing. So what exactly is lead nurturing? Lead nurturing is basically creating and building a relationship with your potential customers and nurturing them towards becoming paying customers. Think of it as a guide where you get your prospective customers from point A, which is when they don't really understand your service or why they need it, to point B, where they fully understand why your service is something they do need to buy and they're ready to pay for it. Of course, getting from point A to point B isn't quite as clear cut. So how exactly is it done? Your leads are already in your sphere of influence. They could either be subscribed to your email list, following you on social media. Maybe they've already read a couple of articles that you've linked to or read a blog post on your website. You know, the interest is there. They just need some guidance. And you do that by providing them with information valuable to them and relevant to their needs in a timely manner. You already know what they're interested in and what their pains are based on what posts they've liked or commented on on your social media, what emails they've opened or what links they've clicked. You then use that information to gear content relevant to the information you have that you know would resonate with them and get them closer to becoming customers. There are a wide variety of content you can use and what you send depends on how close your lead is to becoming a customer. For example, if they haven't really warmed up to you yet, you don't want to ask them to immediately download your ebook. Instead, you might want to point them towards a blog post or articles that you have on your website, an article from a reputable news outlet that aligns with your agenda, or even just an email checking in on them and how they're doing. Depending on how they respond, you can eventually work your way towards leading them to downloading free content from your company, signing up for a webinar or booking a call with you. It's also very important that you do all of this in a timely manner. Don't wait too long to touch base with a lead again, especially if they're already interacting with you in some form. You don't want to cut the momentum of your growing relationship with your potential customer. Now, of course, you're not doing all of this on your own manually, tracking every move of your lead and looking out for which content you have that would be best to send to them. A lot of this is done through marketing automations and that's a whole different animal we'll have to tackle in a future video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video for more business and marketing tips, tricks, and hacks. I'll see you guys in the next one.